what's up people i want to come to you real quick because i want to discuss one thing and that's immunity and today i'm only going over one case i hope you're ready now the doctrine of sovereign immunity is one that's tricky because a lot of times they'll state oh i have immunity so you can't sue me in federal court or you can't sue me in court or all kind of crazy BS um, I even had a guy state to me yesterday that police do not have a fiduciary duty which we all know is wrong because I've shown you the Supreme Court cases to which they have a fiduciary duty to the public to which if they act outside of their official capacity of doing what they're supposed to do working towards our benefit then they are liable, even if we receive no harm. And the case that I'm gonna come up with, uh, that I'm gonna show you today is Dugan v. Rank. It's a 1962 case. And the doctrine of sovereign immunity raised by defendants is inapplicable since plaintiff contend that the defendants actions were beyond the scope of their authority or they were acting unconstitutionally. This is what I mean whenever I speak about, you have to hold them responsible when they violate your federal rights. When they violate federal law, you can hold them responsible, responsible civilly. And again, they are liable civilly in federal court when they act outside of their official capacity. Dugan v. Rank. 1962 they have no immunity when they act outside of their official duties just like I spoke about wrongful death that again is outside of their official capacity do not wait file it immediately and I'll see you next time